Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to another episode of my YouTube Let's Play. Um, so, yeah. As you can see, I'm still over here. Things are working. I've cleaned it up a bit. Uh, still can't do anything about the bedrock. I know I can blow it up, but, like, that's a lot of work. And it kind of fits overall. Um, so, yeah. So, this is actually how it looks in the moody setting. Uh, looks pretty cool. And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I want to teach you guys this for video settings. If you set it to, uh, fabulous, you actually can see through the glass, the tinted glass, and you can see it working. Um, uh, really cool. Um, I didn't know that. So yeah, I, I've been standing here for about maybe a good hour and look at this. We're, we're golden. Uh, a lot of, a lot of arrows. Uh, we'll probably never use it. <laughs> uh, we got bone, we got bows. So I did want to show people something that, oh, and it's really dark over here. I've been working on this. Um, here, let me turn on the lights a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. Um, okay. So let me, oh, my big, my big X is over there and that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Um, let me double check something. So there's something called, like I told you guys before, right? A, gr a grindstone. And we need the stone slab, sticks, and birch planks. Okay, so we got sticks. We got planks. I think it's just two. Uh, and the stone slab, which we can make real quick. Or make two of those, I guess. Uh, is that it? There we go. So we now have a grindstone. And that's fairly important to have uh here and let's put one i don't know where to put it because we're gonna be over here looking at some stuff and you know what for now it's good it's good there so um yeah cool thing about grindstones is similar to the anvil and i, I think i've talked about this before i do want to drive this home because so many people have no idea that you could do this um, yeah, from a farm, you can basically repair and fix things. Um, the thing, the difference between a grindstone and the anvil, of course, is the anvil will keep the enchantments and the grindstone will remove it, but they both combine. The other key difference is that the grindstone will not break. So you don't have to remake this thing. Uh, so what you do is basically combine. So increase the durability from 79 to 52. Now it's 150. And you just can keep doing that until you have a brand new bow. And it clears up the clutter. And the other thing that I've shown you guys before on how to use a grindstone, right? Is you can remove enchantments and get XP back, which is what we can do here. This one's a punch one bow. Well, now it's not. And I got some XP. It's not a lot, but it adds up. Especially if you're just hanging out here. Another source of free XP. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is actually working pretty well. Look at that. So, same thing. Golden boots. If we ever needed boots. Uh, useful tricks for when you're playing, like, hardcore. Uh, and you don't want to go hunting. Or if you're playing, uh, <laughs> what I've been doing. We've been playing half-hearted hardcore. Um, half-heart hardcore, basically. And I, it, it's exactly as it sounds. I have half a heart. I'm, I'm making a new world and I'm playing in hardcore. Uh, expect that series to come out soon. I've, I've, I think we've got five episodes in the bag now. We live streamed it. So if you're curious, uh, check out, check us out at, uh, twitch.tv rail underscore dev. And yeah, give me a, give me a follow, maybe even sub. I will only ask for subs there. <laughs> Actually, not really. Okay, so um, we have tons of bones. Um, good source for bone meal. Early game. Uh, I, I did want to revisit this real quick, right? So this is a good place for bone meal. Now, I am currently breaking out this entire area, making sure this thing can be visible, cleaning it up. Uh, I'm probably going to flatten everything out. We put like stairs up here, which is actually really cool. I actually like this a lot. Um, so yeah, this place is looking snazzy. I really don't like the fact that deep slate is kind of pointless unless you break it with a, 
uh, non silk touch pickaxe, uh, which means all of these that I picked up, I'm gonna have to re break. Kind of sucks. Um, but I guess that's just how life is sometimes. It's inconvenient. I don't know. Um, maybe there is a way to use it that I don't know about. You guys can leave a comment, I guess, or maybe they'll add some way. Um, but I've been trying to clean this all up. So like, like let's grab some of these cobbled deep slate that we have. And so what I've been doing is making a ton of these, um, polished deep slate slabs and also possibly some stairs. And I'm going to clean, like, this is what this episode really is. <laughs> I want to. I want to clean up all of this a little bit, make it look good. Um, we're going to relax today. Like last time was supposed to be short and it wasn't short. And instead it was long and difficult and it wasn't relaxing. So we're going to relax today and we're going to do odds and ends and clean up some more builds. Um, just going to get going on that. I don't know. I, I'm liking this design and we probably might open up this area a little bit. We're currently in the what I'm going to call the dungeon. Uh, this is Ransomo's, uh temple that we're in. The temple library, I guess, is what we were calling it. But, um, yeah. Let's cover this up real quick. And we're going to do some odds and ends. I don't think I am ready to make the roof yet for the brothel. Uh, for Turnip Head's Brothel. I don't... I, I think we need to rename it. It's a villager trading hall. Is what it's really going to be. I think. <laughs> uh, we'll leave that there for now. We should probably fill up these holes here. Uh, I'm going to check the other side as well. Just because I broke some uh, torches. But, yeah. Doing some really simple beautifying. I like to use stuff that I have on hand. So like when I do a project, you'll you'll see a lot of stuff just like lying there on the ground, so or in chests that you've collected, so why not use it? I'm also um going to show you guys something that I worked on on stream uh and finished up off stream. I'm sorry the recording for that kind of got corrupted, so I don't have it, but it is um, another way to make bone meal. So we have a way to make early bone meal now, and then I have another way to make late game bone meal so that you can just like have a ton eventually. And I do tend to love to combine farms and stuff. And so we basically added a new, uh, bone meal generator in the middle of the, I guess what you call the commercial or industrial district. Yeah, our, our starter base, basically. All right, we're out. Um, I think this is fine. I don't think a mob will spawn here. Okay, I have room here. Look at this. Already clean. I want to make sure I have access to this, and I'm like, technically, I can just click it on the top, so I can actually cover this up. No problem. I really do like this. <laughs> I might add a design later. Clean it, change it up a little bit, but yeah. It makes it easier. Like I'm starting to be more aware of like how often I'm constantly jumping around and I kind of don't want to do that anymore. I realize that this is not safe right here. So we're going to, we're going to clean this up right here. Um, I kind of got lost, uh, trying to find the, my way back into this whole area for some reason. And I went too far and got lost. So I, I backtracked and eventually found this place and started breaking it. Okay, so this is probably all we're going to do for today. Uh, we're going to leave this here. And yeah, so and you'll see that I also have moss block. So moss block is great because look at that. Super easy. It's like the new dirt, but but nicer, I guess. Um, so we have been using moss blocks, specifically moss carpets that you can build out of it. And we've been uh, removing torches. I don't have a before and after, um, but we're going to start this video with a small time lapse from 
from my um my live stream and that's what you saw we cleaned up the area and i added i did a little bit more and maybe we'll do some more later today but inside here we took the sea lanterns that we were generating uh up over yonder if, if render distance is better um and we also you know made the roads less straight so i guess you guys didn't if you weren't at the, the live stream you didn't see it so here we go uh, i guess i'll show you guys let's go really high okay so you'll see right now this is how it looks i, I kind of like it don't you so it's a start still not done i definitely feel like i have to change that up now but Maybe we don't. Maybe it is a bridge that connects to here, and then eventually it becomes more normal. And to hide these, because it kind of looks really jarring having all of these, um, I decided to basically use grass. Um, you can use shears to cut grass and place them, and you can also use bone meal to sort of just spread the love. So here we go. Let's let's bone meal the um this place see that's that's really all you have to do and then i don't like the tall grass so i kind of remove them and that's it's that easy really really easy um the thing that frustrates me is when i want this part covered and tall grass just keeps growing on it there we go i think that's a little better and i broke it again it's a it's a little frustrating uh to be honest there we go i think that's good enough see pretty uh so this my suggestion is of course grabbing some shears and placing grass in here um, and i will do that eventually i just wanted to clean this up a little bit Ugh. it's frustrating okay yeah, if you cut, if you break the tall grass, it breaks. It doesn't make it into normal grass. Uh, it's just, it's just broken. Uh, which also means this right here needs to be a little bit higher, I think. Um, so we're gonna end up doing that. And what else is there to show you guys? Oh, right, right, right. Um, so what we have here, actually. So this is um, how we initially made moss blocks because I bought one moss block from the wandering trader. If you see one, buy it because that's the only way to get it right now. Um, and basically I moss block this. Then if you bone meal it, it spreads and you get all of this. Now you should use a, uh, a hoe, but I don't have one. So I was just using my ax. Like it's really easy to break. And I do have haste two going, so it isn't that bad. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's also very destructive in the environment. Like, look at that. Uh, there, spread that out, spread that out. So it goes over anything um, that is stone. I, it, it doesn't do coal, of course, because it's not a stone block. But I'm pretty sure it will spread over. Let's do a science test before it gets too dark and I can't survive here. Uh, let's see what happens when we do this. Yeah, it goes over granite as well. Oh, I, I may have grown a tree. Uh, yeah, flowering azalea. So something, oh, okay, uh, we need we need to sleep. I haven't slept in a while and I figured let's not have phantoms at the start of the episode again. There we go. All right, so. I don't know why I felt like I had to be quiet when I was sleeping. Um, but yeah, man, trees are weird. So you can get these flowering leaves if you have silk touch. So I have a silk, silk touch um, axe. So I can get this, which is a flowering azalea leaf. I have a bunch already, so I'm not too worried about grabbing them. But even with my um, silk touch pickaxe. Because it has efficiency 5 and we have a uh, haste buff. Or we actually have haste 2 buff. Uh, this is going pretty quick. But it'll go even quicker if you actually had an efficiency 5 hoe. So I'm not being efficient. But, you know, I don't have room to carry 
a hoe with me at all times. So I don't actually think, do I have a hoe? I think we may have made one. So yeah, one thing special about that, if you bone meal, and this is the only way to get it, by the way, you can get something called, uh, here, I'll show you guys. It's rooted dirt. So grab the rooted dirt. And this is the only, like, this is technically the, the rarest of blocks. Just because the only way to get it is to bone meal an azalea bush. Uh, I don't think it matters. I think you can bone meal this and make rooted dirt. Or you can bone meal when it's flowering and make rooted dirt. Like that. So, okay. So I, I also wanted to show you guys another way to make... um. Because bone meal is actually pretty powerful and, you know, uh, you can make a lot of things. Like if you were underwater uh, and bone meal something, you can make seagrass, which, you know, you can use to feed the turtles. I didn't know that till recently. Uh, for now, rooted dirt doesn't really have an easy place to be placed here. So I'm just going to put it here. There's a reason why I specified Java Edition for what we're doing. Um, apparently, this is a bedrock only trick. Isn't that weird? It's a bedrock edition only trick where you can use grass blocks to um, to basically make bone meal. That's absolutely weird. That's the weirdest thing to make. Like, yeah, I I don't get it. Um, but I guess we're gonna clean this up. That is a fail, but also a learning experience. It's fine. It's okay. See, for us in Java, we have a lot of things that make things a little easier. Um, I'm just, I'm too lazy. Let's just throw all of this in here. <laughs> I guess we put the boots in there. It'll, it'll sort itself out. I mean, that's the whole point of having an item sorter. And every time I'm in the middle of stuff, I can just throw it in here and deal with it later. So... Um, is it already night? This recording is going by really fast. Um, so we're going to continue building this out. I'm not exactly sure I want to continue doing this, uh, with the, with the bone meal until I build more buildings and maybe add like, uh, instead of just this, um, right. Uh, hold on. Hello. Can I get in? Oh, I can't get out. I feel like I put myself in these situations all the time. But like maybe I do something like this. So if I hit F2, this is my light level. It's all like non-spawnable by mobs. So I can do like areas. Which of course the problem here is that it will spread. But I can do something like this. Let me go grab... something here uh okay so oak maybe just two no we may need more okay so oak maybe spruce would be a better color uh let's check it out but i'm thinking spruce or oak. you know what i think spruce would look better uh because it's closer to the shade of dirt but we could prevent it from expanding by putting that like this and so it's not touching anything so you can take the dirt and it shouldn't grow and something like this so having some sort of texture around the area because we're using spruce over here so we can sort of blend it I think we're gonna do that this is just the initial trial to see if I like it um, if I'm happy with it we'll keep it if not we won't. I don't know. I guess I won't. I won't know until I see a lot more of this. And I have kind of given up on this. Um, it, it hasn't really produced more uh, more honey. But this one has actually been pretty profitable. It's actually backed up right now. Uh, so let's clean that up. What do I do with all of this lava now? 
Let's throw it in here. Throwing all these excess stuff here. Making a mess. Okay. So let's clean this up. This is the only really manual. Well, I, I'm, I'm lying. There's so many things that I'm doing that's manual right now. Okay. Let's put some in here. And then we're going to grab all of these and place them up there. There. So these barrels will restock the, the droppers up there into the dispensers. Um, and those will dispense the bottles into these when they're full, which means we'll get more honey eventually. So right now what's happening is uh, all of these hoppers are backed up with, uh, with bottles. And so it's going to take a while. I forgot that I gave him a flower. <laughs> that's, that's how he's still like sort of alive. Okay. Um, what else do we need to do? Generally, that is the main reason we're doing this. Um, and I want to experiment some more and I'm curious if like, say horses, skeletal horses can actually, uh, I don't know, mate and make baby skeletal horses. Is that a thing? Um, I don't know. We'll find out. And then we still have to make a sheep farm uh, at some point. But what do you guys think? This episode hasn't been too crazy. It hasn't been too eventful, but eventful enough. Um, showing you guys some more things. Hey, look, I, I landed right on top of him. I, I need some saddles is actually something I need to do. So, yeah. But we do have a board that we are starting to track what we need to do. Um, <laughs> so, actually, before we continue that, I need some more of these birch. I think that was birch. Birch signs. 16? Is it 16? 24? I don't know. 18, I think. And then I need some sticks. I don't, I don't know how many I need. I'm just going to take most of them. Okay, let's make some signs. There, nine. Um, so, this is sort of like a to-do list. Well, it is a to-do list. Um, so, one of one of our viewers, a uh, longtime viewers and supporters, uh, we're going to make her a concert hall. Um, so once she gets me the idea, we'll probably start working on it. And here, Turnip, his comfort house, I guess is what we're calling it. Uh, I need to build a roof and I need to do interiors. Two things that I'm terrible at, but I'm excited to learn. And then, of course, we're going to have to move all the villagers in there and set up a whole villager system. Uh, and then Ransomos Temple Factory. That's such a weird thing. Um, we need to beautify the throne room that we've created for him. Uh, we also need to do interiors everywhere. And honest, honestly, the exteriors are not done. There's still a lot of like things we can do with it, like uh, texturing and things like that. And then farms. Uh, we need to do a piglin barter farm. We need an Enderman XP farm. Uh, I still need to do that flying machine bamboo sugarcane dripstone farm. <laughs> which is going to be one whole machine. Uh, we just finished uh, the bone meal part of my whole plan. Uh, we are going to redo this storage system. Um, I'm debating on either redoing this completely or leaving this here and building somewhere else really far away and having another system over there. And we're going to stop the torture. I love puns, I'm sorry. But yeah, stop the torture. Remove the torches in the world. No more craziness. But the other thing I'm working on, I'm hoping, and I was hoping this episode we would have thunderstorm. But if you look over there, I put a bunch of boats and lightning rods around here because I want to start making super creepers. They're not called super creepers. They're called something else, I think. 
Um, but basically, they glow blue. Who is shoot? Okay, if you are shooting at me from a boat. Uh, we need an X. Oh boy, that was way too close. <laughs> uh, there we go. This is honestly a really bad plan. Oh, the creeper can't see me. That's cool. Are you kidding me? So here's an, this is actually another way. Oh no, we, our sheep is in here. Okay, this plan is not planning, panning out. The idea was that the lightning would get attracted by these lightning rods and they would be hit. They would hit the creepers and then they'd be charged creepers. That's the word. Uh, they'd be charged creepers who will explode with more damage. But one cool thing about it is um, if you explode a charged creeper next to a, a zombie, or a skeleton or another creeper, they will drop their heads. There's an achievement, I think, related to that. I'm not sure. Um, but this plan is not really working, but this is currently how I'm actually, um, <laughs> how I'm farming for, uh, I should probably use my looting sword, how I'm farming for gunpowder. It works. Right? <laughs> Wait, someone shot at me. Also, I didn't pick up that gunpowder. Oh, you're shooting at me. I'm not using my shield. I should I should honestly be carrying my shield, but There we go. Yeah, slow and steady. Um we definitely need to make a gas farm or a uh, creeper farm at some point but i've done so many of those that it's not something i'm super interested in um but yeah we've we're close to the hour mark i think we're going to end the episode here um again very very chill relaxed uh episode and i hope you guys enjoyed as we play through more of this world and continue to grow it um i honestly kind of want to take a break from all the farm building and stuff um, and because this right here is pretty daunting to me. Oh gosh. This is also where I've been farming, but I kind of want to go over, I don't know, like, you know what? Well, we, we haven't even been to that, uh, portal yet. Let's see what's over there. Also there's gold, but honestly, I have enough gold. It's not a big deal. Okay. So. Uh, I think I've talked about this before, but you know, all these ruined portals usually have a chest. When you go in here, they usually have something in here. So we have two mending helmets, curse of binding, golden carrots, flint and steel, gold armor from my horsey. Nice. And fire charges. So yeah, um, really cool thing that they've added. Uh, I don't know when it got added. Uh, when I started playing in 1.16.5, I was already... It was already a thing. Oof. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking of like going in a direction and just, you know, restarting, leaving everything behind, um, putting it in an ender chest, destroying the ender chest and trying to survive. Like there's some really interesting places. Like there's a bunch of goats here. That's a lot of goats. I don't think we've ever seen goats in this in this playthrough. Look at that. It's a goat. Hello, goats. They're, they look friendly. Do they attack zombies? Or do zombies attack them? No. Zombies attack me. Um. So yeah, like looking at this place, this looks like a pretty cool place. It's got, it's got a mountain. And I did want to start doing some experiments on, on the series as well. I'm actually kind of hoping that we find a shroom mushroom biome. I forget what it's called. This is dark forest. 
with the bir tall birch trees. It's a tall birch forest. Whoa. Whoa. And then there's a village over there. I don't think I'm going to go visit it. We all know what villages look like. Um, so we got like a lot of birch. I actually don't mind birch, but I mainly use birch for um, signs because they're clear. Here's another portal. Let's take a look. Oh, oops. What do we have? Golden apples. So these are great. Um, I've never shown you guys what a golden apple does, but so in my hardcore half heart hardcore series, um, we only have half a heart and one life. So one of the things that are going to be super important is actually a golden apple. And what it does is it gives you, um, here, gives you absorption, which I think is just damage shielding. Um, so that's what I would need to survive because it would give me two additional hearts. I, I'm doing a test right now because I'm curious, uh, if the two hearts I get are permanent or if they're based off of that, uh, buff that we have right now. I hope they're permanent, but it's probably not. Protection, mending, mending, salt touch, all cool things. Probably stuff we don't need, uh, but I figured we might as well take it. Uh, so let's place my ender chest. Grab an empty box and then just drop all of these in here that we looted. So we have all of this here. Actually, don't need most of these right now, so we'll just throw them in here too. Oh, wait, what? Fire! What? <laughs> I did not cause that fire this time. Why is it? Oh, and that was really dangerous. Uh, if that had fallen into the lava, goodbye shulker box. Okay. So, yeah. I need rockets again. I honestly, at this point, am kind of lost. Didn't I say I was going to end the episode? And now it's the next day. So, um, yeah, the, the Half Heart Hardcore series is going to be based off of, like, uh, two Minecraft days per episode. Um, if I if I accidentally fall asleep, we'll extend it another day. But it it so far it's it, it's difficult. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's definitely one of the hardest things I've tried so far. But it's fun. I wonder if we could do something with this. This looks interesting, but yeah, um, I was talking about it earlier. Um, I also wanted to try something where we go ahead and mine in different biomes and see what it looks like. Cause I think the way the world generates uh, diamond and specifically diamond is different depending on the biome. Um, so we could see from, see what happens there. Let's, let's explore a little bit more just to see if we can find Anything cool? Oh my god. That's a lot of cows in this area. Huh. This is Cow Island. And then there's... It's just sand? I haven't really explored here. Look at... This is where all the animals are. Oh my gosh. This is where all the cows are. <laughs> what is happening today? Oh, I'm not going in that hole. Ooh, horsies. Oh, you know what? We're going for another portal. A ruined portal. This time the gold had fallen down. Okay. What do we have here? Vein of arthropods. Unbreaking. Mending. Silk touch. This is an early way to get some of these, uh, like silk touch enchantments. Oops. So yeah, um, I think we'll end the episode here, here at this portal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys back here next time. This has been real underscore dev. Catch me on Twitch and yeah, uh, you know, do the thing that you guys do. 
Bye-bye.